Hey everyone, Bob here. Today, I would like to give you a lesson about how we're gonna create a, an employee master list, which will uh, comprise of two worksheets, which I have named input, one worksheet and data for the second sheet. The input would be, we're gonna be using this as our input or entry form for an employee input form, uh, which would include, uh, say, for example, first name, last name of the employee, staff number, address, email, etc. So we're going to start off designing our input form and then later on designing our data, data sheet in the next worksheet. Okay. The first thing first, I'm going to design the uh, input form by putting in our our uh, title which 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 is name employee master list employee master list okay we're going to make this one bigger it's a Number 18. This is number 18. Then our data label, our label, and then our input fields. Okay. We're going to start with uh, typing the first, first name of the employee. Okay, the second one is would be the last name. And the third one is staff number. You could say employee number, all the same. And then the fourth one in our fields is the uh, address of the employee. The next one would be the email of employee. And uh, next is nationality. Nationality of employee and gender of employee. Then department. And last one would be the position of the employee. Okay. Position of employee. All right will adjust the column okay and then this is this uh label would also be the same in the next in the next worksheet which is the data sheet okay all you have to do is just copy this so we don't have to type again and then go to the data maybe uh, we're gonna put it here right here and then we're going to transpose it, paste transpose this one, okay? So we already have it, okay, right here. So it saves us time by not uh, typing it again. Uh, just copy and tra transpose, paste, okay? And we're going to be uh, typing here the, the title, which is employee master list. All right, this one also, we're gonna make it bigger, like 18 also, make it bold. And this one, just say 12 and bold, okay? All right, so we have already our header or the title of our records, okay? So let's go back to the input form right here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna insert space between between this uh, label. Just insert here, then right click insert. Uh, here, right click insert. Same as this one, right click insert. Then right here, click insert. Right click insert. Right click the row, uh, insert, 
Then the last one is under the department insert. Okay. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to Okay, we're gonna adjust the uh, height of the uh, row. Just click the control uh, key, key, and then click here, click the row, right here, All right. Then we're gonna adjust the row height. Uh, let's find the row, the row height. Okay, it's not here, so we're gonna go to the format then row height here okay click this this one then um, i say row height would be 10. okay that's okay then we're gonna put first we're gonna put a a, a what you call hmm Fill, uh, the fill is, I'm gonna use this one, the green one. And then, okay, next to the label would be your uh, field or entry box. Okay, I'm gonna put here, uh, white color on this. This one, white color also. White, white, white. I'm, I'm just making a simple uh, input form, right? Then uh, I'm gonna select all by uh, clicking the control key on your keyboard and click all, right? Okay, so um, then uh, I'm gonna click the uh, borders, all border, uh, outside borders. Where is it? This one, outside borders. All right, one more yellow color, uh, white color here. So this would be our input box, which is uh, the range is C3, C5. So remember this because we're gonna be using the range in our you know, in our uh, creation of the the VBA code in the VBA editor. This is C7, C9, C11, nationality, T13, 15, gender, department, okay, and position, okay, C19. So from C3 to C19, okay? Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make a, it's just a simple one, a simple, simple uh, input form. Okay, actually you can you, you can also uh, create a, uh, an inform form or what they call user form in the VBA, but I'm not gonna use that. I'm just uh, gonna do it here. Just click it. Click 9, 11, 13, 15, 17, and 19. Okay, then we go back to the format. Uh, um, format under the home tab. Then click row height. So what would be our row height? I would say 20. I think 20 is okay. One more, uh, just click here, and then row height, maybe 25, 25, or that's too big, or 22. Okay, I think that's okay. All right, in the data, that's okay. Uh, I'm just gonna, okay. Put a color in this one, right click, go to format cells, and then uh, fill, fill effects. I'm gonna use 
I'm gonna use this one. Color, and the color one would be this one. Let's see what happens. Okay, click, click. Okay, I think it's okay. Okay, let's see what happens if we change the uh, this one white color. Then we'll put it uh, in the middle, middle alignment here. Okay, this one also, we're gonna put the same uh, color for my cells and then go to the fill effects. Okay, the green one, I like the green one here. This one. And then this one. Click OK, and then click OK. All right, so we have this already. And then what we're going to do is put it on the middle alignment. All right. Okay, just a simple one. Okay, this is simple uh, uh, database. All right, then we'll uh, now design our uh, uh, click button. So where are we going? We're going to the developer tab and then click insert and then click the uh, command button, this one. Click it and then I'm gonna put my click button here. Okay, that's my click button. I'm going to edit the, uh, the label. Okay, edit the label of this button, edit. I'm gonna say this one is for uh, I'm going to say add record. And add record. Okay. Then we'll make another one. Just right click. Okay. Then. Okay. Copy. Paste. should be here next to it, uh, below it. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna edit. Then what? I'm gonna save the record, okay? Save record, okay? One more, right, one more. Uh, this is, I'd like to use this to shift another shift, shift uh, sheets, okay? So I'm gonna name this what? I'm gonna name this, uh, let me think, go to, go to data, or next sheet, right? Okay, so we already have it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, this one, I'm gonna double click this. Okay, double clicking the button, you will go to the VBA editor. Okay, this is the VBA editor. So it's already here, sheet one, input, sheet two, data. <coughs> so, what I'm gonna write here, uh, this is for adding data. So for adding data, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna write the, uh, so it's a automatic, it's private sub, command button, one click. So no need, no, no, no need to change that. You can use that actually. I'm going to declare the, uh, the, uh, what you call variables, starts with dim, then I would say employee as string, because we're only be using text, so that would be string. If we're gonna be uh, doing uh, codes uh, related to uh, numbers, then we're gonna be use, using uh, integer. For short uh, numbers, in for long numbers, which you're gonna be using long. 
Uh, there are so many other, but uh, right now I'm gonna be using string. Okay. Then I'm gonna this. I'm gonna do the coding. I'm gonna start with next. Then no, we're gonna say uh, worksheet first. Ws underline output. Okay. Then output is equal to uh, data. Data. All right. That would be our uh, our database where we're going to store all our records, our employee records. Then we're gonna be doing the coding next. Underline row. Okay, row by row, we're gonna be, and then column by column. We're gonna be uh, creating nine columns. Okay, nine columns for the employee uh, records. Okay, so we're gonna start with next, and then underline row, then sheets. We're gonna use sheets, then WS worksheet, underline output. And then what else? Uh, close parenthesis that. Then range. This time I'm not. I'm not gonna assign names for our range. Instead, I'm gonna use the actual range. Okay, the cell positions, right? Open parenthesis, double quotes, then a, a column, then double quotes, then. Ampersand, then rows, then that count. We're counting the rows and the columns, then uh, close parenthesis that. Uh, and at the end, we're gonna offset so that it will go to the next row, right? So we're gonna be using Excel up, Excel up, and then that. Uh, one, okay, one offset. We're gonna be using one offset only, going down. Uh, rows offset, one row offset. If we're gonna be using an offset on the, you know, sideways, horizontally, going to the right, then we can, we can add here. We can add one, or how many cells we're going to offset. But this time, I'm not gonna do that. Uh, and then I'm gonna close that. Okay, Excel up. Nah. Rows that count. Right. Uh, then offset. Uh, hang on, hang on. Excel up. Wait, hang on. I'm gonna write offset first. Then one, set by one. Then that row. Okay, next underline row equals to equals sheet. Uh, inside the parenthesis W is uh, underline output, that range A, A ampersand rows that count. And then in Excel up. I think we are very okay on that, very okay. So next one is, now we're gonna, uh, we're gonna be coding our columns, right? Uh, the columns and the rows and the columns. So again, we'll be, okay. Uh, we'll start with the sheets, WS, worksheets, underline output, all right? What else, output? that cells okay then next would be underline row and comma one then this is this first column or, the, or rather this is the first row then that value that value equals to range so as I said, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna use a name for this. I'm not gonna assign a name. I'm just gonna say 
Remember, I said C3. Remember the the uh, cells location C3, C7, all add numbers up to 19, right? So we'll start with C3. Then don't forget the double quote. Then close it. Then that value. All right? What happened? Sheets, output, sales, something is wrong here. Okay. I think we, we missed the, uh, this one, the uh, close parenthesis. Okay. Copy. Okay. What we're going to do is we're just going to copy this, make it faster. Copy, then paste. Then we're going to change this to... This is for the column two, then the range would be C5. As I said, uh, all uh, add numbers, right? C3, C5, C7, up to C19. Remember that? The location or the range. We copy again. Okay. Uh, I already counted it and it counts to nine rows, right? Nine rows. So this, is, this would be seven. Then copy, rather paste, then this would be four, and this would be nine. Then paste, this would be number five, uh, column, and then this would be the uh, cell location is C11. All add numbers. Because we put blank uh, row, in between the fields, right? Then uh, paste again. Uh, then almost there, six. Then this would be C13. Okay. Copy, paste. Then this would be seven. And this would be, I'm not sure if you're seeing this. So what I'm going to do is, I'm not sure if you're gonna see this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go to the tools, tools, options, click options. Then I'm gonna go to the editor format. Okay, right now it's 12. So I'm gonna make it, uh, I think 16 is okay. 16. Okay, so you'll be see, you'll be seeing it more clearer, okay? So uh, paste again, then this would be it, just two more. Okay, then this one, which one is next? 17, then next one would be C19, right? Because we already uh, saw it. This would be nine, as I said, nine columns, and this would be 19, all right? Okay. And then, so just delete. Okay, what I've done everything complete. And I'm going back to the Excel sheet. Okay, this would be our ad record. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to do the save record, just double click. Okay, then we, we go back there. So, we don't need this uh, window below, so I'm going to make it bigger. So for the new record, uh, remember uh, we have, uh, uh, we're going to have a blank uh, fields whenever we add, uh, add new records. So we're going to start with uh, range. Range. This is uh this is another macro. Okay, the the first macro that we have is for the adding of record. This one, uh, command button, on uh button one, then the command button two. Okay, so we're gonna be uh, range. It's then the first uh, uh range 
uh, on the on the bottom is remember C19 that was C19 so don't forget the uh, double quote then C19 then double quote then close it that select okay and then enter okay for our selection selection on C19 we can type selection here selection then we're going to clear contents because we're adding new record right so clear contents right clear contents then enter so to make it faster we're just going to highlight this all select all then copy right click copy then paste okay so the next one we're we're, we're starting from bottom c19 and we're going up up to c3 right so the next one would be c17 enter then paste then the, the next one would be 15 and enter then paste the next one would be 13 13 okay next one paste then this would be 11 okay enter paste and this one is nine nine enter paste and this one would be seven all add numbers and paste this would be five a c5 okay then paste again then last but not the least c3 All right okay okay we got it we go back to excel we see if okay remember we have the first which is c3 c5 c7 Again, C9, C11, 13, all add numbers, the location or the cell, the cell location or the range, C17, C19, okay? So we already have this. The next one would be to go to data, just double click, okay? We're on the same uh, window. We already developed how many? One, two, two macros, okay? All right. Uh, third one would be our uh, go to go to data right this is just one liner sheets simple just sheets and um, data right uh, just uh, open parenthesis don't forget the double double quote double quotes then uh, data double quotes then close then that select that select simple as that okay all right okay. all right this is command button number three that we're using go back there Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna add. Uh, I'm gonna copy this and we'll go to the data sheet. Then we're gonna add the button. Or actually, we can also insert uh, here. Don't no need to copy. This is command button, and we're gonna put it right here. What is this for? This is for us to be able to go back to the input sheet okay right click then click edit uh, sorry i'm not saving yet okay i'm not saving because we want to make it faster so uh go to or go back maybe it's a good name go back to input input sheet right 
our uh, data entry input form right double click okay because this is in the in another sheet so it started an another one let's see let's see here okay on the data sheets okay so okay i'm going to collapse this one all right so what would be what this one uh going back to input this is also simple just one liner sheets uh Open parenthesis, double quotes, input, double quote, then close, then select. All right, enter. Okay, go back. Okay, so we're going to, uh, we are in the design mode. Just click this design mode here. Okay, so that, so we can click this one. Okay, go back to input. Okay. Go to data, okay? Go back to input, all right? So we got it. Now, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna add record, okay, record, first name. So, okay, what we're gonna do is I have some sample data here that I have prepared, okay? So that it will be faster if we have prepared the data sample that we're going to put in here. So the first name would be, let's say Mike, then the last name is Smith. Then this guy's staff number is 100. We'll start with 100. Then um, the address is, let's see London. London. Then email is, let's say just Mike. Mike at uh, Gmail that from okay the nationality is let's say this is from london so therefore this guy is british guys okay british so british gender is male of course mike is male sorry that's not male this is male right then department i would say his department is uh, warehouse warehouse then what is he in the warehouse? He's a warehouse supervisor. Warehouse supervisor. All right. So remember in the data, nothing here. Nothing, right? Nothing. So, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hide this one. Okay the sheet name I'll just use this uh button click uh button uh, command button okay go to data go back to input all right what we're gonna do is uh when you go to the data nothing in here yet okay no no data yet so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to save the record save the record just click this one let's check this out okay nothing why it's nothing? Okay, we're going to debug. Save the record. Uh, we're going to design mode. Uh, sorry. Double click. Okay, this is the uh, command button. Range 19. Clear contents, clear contents 19. Go back. All right. Okay. This should be what you call add record. Uh, sorry, I made a mistake. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit this one. This should be add record. Okay. This one should be edit, should be uh, save record. Okay. Okay, we'll interchange this. Interchange them, so no problem. All right. So, if we're going to add record, 
Uh, sorry, I'm going to uh, turn off the design mode right here, design mode. Just click it. Okay. So that you can use this one now, this button. So if we're going to add record, okay, automatic, it will go to the first box, which is the C3 is on C3, first name. Okay, remember uh, we had Mike first, then we're going to have a female this time, Amelia. Then the name would be actually we can we can uh, align this. Uh, go to the home, then put it on the middle. All right, All right. Uh, last name would be uh, Johnson. We'll just put uh, maybe around seven seven uh, records so that we'll see how it looks in the data sheet. So stop number, we started with 100 and this one is 101. Address for Amelia Johnson is in New York. New York, New York. Uh, email, we'll start with Amelia, then uh, gmail.com. And then, Nationality, I think uh, New York. So he, she's American. So we'd say American. All right. The gender, of course, is female. And the department, where where is uh, what what is his department? What is her department? Department is finance. Say finance. And he, she is a finance manager. Finance. Okay, actually, what we're gonna do is uh, for the female, um, for the nationality, I think we can make a data, you know, a, a data validation on this. Go to the data validation, this one. Data validation and then click list. We can make a list. Okay. So, okay. This is for the what? This is for the uh, nationality. We can write uh, uh, British, okay, comma, American. So it will be faster. We don't have to type every time. Uh, we don't have to type on the keyboard every time. And then nationality, Iris. Let's say we're going to use uh, Spanish. This is just a data sample for our understanding. And then uh, we're going to say German. I'm gonna use German and then uh, Indian. And then we're gonna use Saudi. I'm gonna use Saudi. Then click OK. Okay. So here, British, American, Irish, Spanish, German, Indian, Saudi. So that lady is an American. He, she's from New York. This one also, we can make a list out of this column uh, field. Okay, same thing that you're gonna do, go to the data validation, then list, then just write male or female. All right, so it will be faster. Uh, our encoding uh, is faster, okay? There's male, there's female. And then for the department, we can also do a list for this one. Uh, data validation, then click down, drop down uh, button, then click list, then uh, uh, create the source for the, uh, the first one that we, uh, we uh, you know, use was warehouse, right? Then we use finance. Then what else? Oh, I'm going to use HR manager or HR. Let's say human resource. 
human resource. Then comma again, uh, manufacturing. Then after manufacturing, we can say health and safety department. Health, uh, ampersand, safety department. Then what else? Maybe I would say maintenance department. Maintenance department. And that would be okay now. Okay. So in our drop down list, uh, in our drop down list, we got uh, warehouse, finance, human resource, manufacturing, health and safety, and maintenance. Okay. This one also, we can, it will be faster if we uh, create a drop down list. Just go to the data validation again, click drop down, then click list. Then for the source, we say uh, warehouse supervisor. Okay, comma, uh, finance manager. And then what else? Uh, I would say it's our manager from human resource. And then, uh, comma, um, health and safety uh, inspector. Inspector. Then what else? Personal manager. This is also from human resource, reporting to the human resource manager. And then for maintenance, we say engineering, okay? You can uh, write as many as you want. Uh, you're making a long list for the purpose of, you know, uh, for you, for your convenience and for, uh, quick, encoding uh, activity okay so okay we have complete and then what we do is we're going to add record okay add record okay okay let's go to the data which one was the last one? Oh, we have not done yet okay okay we have not done yet so we start all over again huh Start all over again. So nothing inside, no, nothing here yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, say Mike, Mike Smith, Mike Smith, then 100 uh, address is London. And email is Mike at gmail.com then nationality is what nationality is british is british ah, okay i forgot we already have a drop down list so we'll say british faster gender already have that one also my uh, mail department warehouse and he's a warehouse manager a warehouse supervisor okay now we can save the record save the record let's say go to the data okay it's already here let's we'll just make this column bigger right we can make adjustment all right uh, okay mike smith 100 staff number london Mike at gmail.com, British mail, warehouse department, and warehouse supervisors position. Okay, go back to input. All right, then add record. This time, okay, we'll go. We say Amelia. This is a, a female person. Then last name is Johnson. 
Then stop number is 101. Address is New York. Then email is Amelia at gmail dot com. Okay. The nationality, she's American. So we already have the drop down list. You just click American for gender. She's female. And then department is, uh, I would say finance. Then she's finance manager. Yeah. Okay, save record. Okay, go to data is here, All right? So we'll make it faster, okay. Uh, add your record. Uh, this next one is Emma. Uh, Williams. Stop number 102. Uh, address, uh, you say Dublin, Dublin. Uh, Email is Emma at Gmail. Uh, nationality, she's from Dublin, therefore she's Irish. Irish. Uh, still part of UK, United Kingdom. Then female. Then department. Uh, department is HR. Human resource. And then position, uh, HR manager. Okay, save record, add record again. Okay, so next one is Olivia. Olivia Garcia. This is Latin or Spanish. Wow. wow. Number is, uh, I think, 103. 103, address, Madrid. Uh, this is a multinational company, uh, right? Uh, so the email is Olivia, uh, gmail, dot com. And then nationality is Spanish, okay? I, 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 I type it. You type it or you click it, doesn't matter. It's the same. Then female. Then department of Olivia. Uh, since he's, she's from what? HR. Mm, uh, HR. Uh, Olivia, one, two, three, four. Uh, I would say manufacturing, then analyst. Analyst is not here. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to Okay, department. Okay, I'm gonna add analyst. Right. Um, analyst manufacturing. All right. Oh, no, no, no. Not already. And this would be analyst.
This is engineering manager. Then analyst. Okay. All right. Click OK. Hmm, what happened? All right. So let's see the, uh, I think, a, okay, we're going to see the position. Okay, the position would be a warehouse manager. Next, finance manager. The next is what? It's our manager. Uh, HR manager, analyst, okay, analyst, comma, inspector, um, personal manager, personal manager, and engineering manager. Then click OK. And okay, what we're going to do is, is we're going to check the analyst right here. Okay. Then save record, add record. Uh, the next one is Hans. Hans Smith. Smith. Then stop number of Smith is 104. Okay, address uh, Berlin. It's obvious, right? Then email is Hans at gmail.com. Then nationality is German. German here. Okay, gender is male, then department, uh, department of, uh, is health and safety. What is his job in health and safety? Inspector, okay, save record, add record, Kumar, I'm just, uh, you know, putting in seven records so that we'll see, we'll be able, so that we will appreciate how it looks like. So we'll see. Uh, Kumar Anand, stop number 105, address, uh, I say Delhi. Uh, email is Kumar. Ah, that come. Okay, nationality, of course, Indian, gender, male, department. Uh, uh, it's a human resource, and. He is a personal manager. Yeah. Okay. Save record. Add record again. This would be the last one. Of my sample. So let's say, we'll, uh, let's say, Mohammed, Mohammed Ahmed, and sub number one o five or one o six. Uh, address. Let's say Jeddah. Email uh, Mohammed. At Gmail. At Tom. Okay. Nationality. Of course, Saudi. 
and then gender, male, department, engineering, We forget the engineering, uh, rather maintenance. Okay, and engineering manager. Okay. So save record, go to data. Okay, these are the records that we have compiled. Okay. Okay. So it's easy. Simple as this. Very easy to, this is a simple uh, data entry and report. Okay. If you don't want to, you know, to the ribbon to appear, we can also make another one. Okay, just go to developer and then insert a command. Then what we do is we're going to uh, edit and then we'll say hide menu menu then double click we just say uh, hide menu is this is uh, this is application this application uh, that execute uh, Excel. Excel. Uh, for macro. Right. Then. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to say show. Uh, that toolbar. Show that toolbar. Open parenthesis. Ribbon. Double quote. Parenthesis. Oh no, not yet. Um, what am I going? Ah, uh, sorry. Uh, Double, double quotation mark. This should be double quotation mark. Okay, comma. Then we say it's true. Or we say false. Because this is hide. Okay, hide. So it should be false. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click the shift, home, then copy, right click, copy. Uh, okay. Ah, all right. What happened? Application, get Excel 4, Excel 4 macro, show, Toolbar, that toolbar, uh, parenthesis, ribbon. Oh, sorry, this is three parenthesis. Okay. I think this is okay now. Okay. Okay, we can make another one. Uh, uh, insert okay then edit actually you can go to the properties and go to the caption this one but it's easier if you could just go to the edit then show menu Okay, just close it. Yeah, then double click. Okay, just copy this one. 
copy, then paste. Okay. Then, same result. We just have to change this to make it different result. True. Okay. And go back. Okay. So if we're going to hide this, you just click hide. Okay. Uh, I'm going to click the design mode. Okay. Hide. And show menu. Right. Add record. Okay. This is it for today's uh, lesson about uh, creating an employee master list uh, using two um, worksheets. Uh, one for the input entry, entry of data, and the second one is for the database on the second sheet. So I hope you like it. If you do, please subscribe and, and hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified of the next uh, video uploads of mine. Okay, thank you for watching.